So I was going to make this a lot harder um, and calling people out, but I'm going to kind of stick to more of the general um, because you know it, it really did upset me. These things, I mean, it's obviously a reason why I quit because like, I just it really did upset me. I just can't believe people would say things they did or do things they do. Um, but I'm just kind of see the general, you know, people are like, the reason why, I kind of went more in detail, the reason why I kind of quit is because people were like insulting JMods and everything, and I, I just feel ashamed to be part of the community when people are acting like that. Like, like I said, again, like I'm not the most mature person ever, but when you're insulting JMods and saying they're trying to rig polls and they're like ruining the game and stuff like that, that's just insulting. Like, the, the best thing about this game is it's ran by people who care so much for the game. Like, it's unbelievable. I mean, people look at J mods as they're like the that they're the uh, that they're their villains in the situation. They're not. Like honestly, like a lot of these people play the game. Like they care a lot for the game, um, and you could tell. You could easily tell by the updates they do, the game, the, the updates they do, uh, the things they say, the things they do. I mean, like just look at the BTS. Like they, you can tell most of J mods have like such so much passion for the game, and when people insult people like that, it's pathetic. And it really did upset me, and I just, I guys needed a break from the game. Like I, I really was very, very close to not coming back. I mean, I really don't have any motivation to come back at the moment. I really don't. But right now, it's pure plunder. You know, increased chance of black ibis and crap like that. So I kind of feel like I have to, uh, because obviously I don't want to miss an opportunity. Um, and I'm kind of assuming that it's gonna, be, I'm coming back into the game because of that. Um, but yeah, it's just like lately. The past few weeks, especially with Invention, people are just insulting JMods and saying like, oh, there's risking Invention to make more money off of us and stuff like that. No, that's not the case. If you have membership right now, they don't care. They're not making an Invention to make money off of you. JMods don't give a shit how much the company makes. Like, they really don't. I don't get what people think that. People are like, oh, he's like, oh, Mod Mark, he just cares for money. That's why he makes spins and stuff like that. No. Mod Mark is in control of the game. I guess the people above him are. Now, they're the reason School of Fortune. Mod Mark has nothing to do with it or any of the Gmods. Like, it's absolutely insulting for me to read stuff like that. Like, I get, like, occasionally people make jokes, but when people actually mean it, it's pretty insulting. But yeah, that's that's why I had to get away break from the game. Because, I don't know, it just seems like people surround their entire lives around this game. And when one small thing happens that they don't like, they act like it's the end of the world. Like, on it, it just seems like it's, like, the worst thing that's ever happened in their lives. And, like, again, when I view this community, I view it as 18 to 25-year-olds, you know, young adults or adults. And when they act like it's the <laughs> worst thing in the world, like, it, it, it just baffles me. Because it's just, like, how, do you, how have you never had a real issue that is worse than this? I'm like, I've had fucked up issues. Like, I'm not going to get into it, but... I, I just, I feel insulted myself when people act like it's the worst thing ever. Like, people just blow it out of proportion. I'm just like, come on, you're a fucking adult. You should have gone through shitty situations. Like, there should be nothing to you. I mean, it's a damn new skill or it's a damn double experience weekend or whatever. I mean, heck, it's not a double experience weekend. It's a damn poll and people are just fucking insulting JMods. And, like, just insulting everything and everyone. And it's pathetic. It really is. And I just can't believe it. And that's why I just had to take a week off. I just can't believe some people. It, it's unbelievable. Uh, like I'm definitely going to be separating myself from the community from now on out. You know, there's a very select few people that I'll, I'll keep in contact with. But otherwise, you know, like I'm spe especially staying with the forums. I mean, Twitter, not Twitter, <laughs> Twitch and Reddit is fine. I mean, Reddit is usually positive stuff. And Twitch, obviously, I can select what I want to watch. And I know who I don't want to watch, but uh, you know, it's it's again, it's just shameful at being part of the community that acts like that. Like I definitely don't want to be part of it, and that, again, that's kind of why I wanted to leave because I've always been that way. I've always been like, if I want to, if I don't like the situation I'm in, I'll just separate or remove myself from it. I mean, there's a reason why I moved out two days after high school graduation. Uh, my, me and my family didn't go along together. I moved out. I fix the situation exactly what I'm doing here or I was planning on doing it but I guess I still am doing that you know I'm removing myself from the community I, I can't I can't handle it you know um but again you don't read in the comments on that video reading the messages I've received because of that video like I'm kind of seeing that like part uh, quite a bit of a uh, or the vocal part of my community my fan base is uh it's quite mature and I honestly kind of maybe think or rethink it 
you know, because um, a lot of people said this, they're in the same situation. You know, they only talk to a few select people because they just can't stand everyone else. It's exactly how I am, except, you know, like the five, six people I used to always talk to, only talk to. I basically got their own thing going on now, and they've basically quit the game as well. So, you know, like I find out how to find uh, other resources to, uh, you know, talk to people and stuff like that. And I mean, I'm fine on the team speaks and stuff I joined in, but it's, you know, the forums, it's some Reddit posts, it's some Twitch streams, it's just pathetic. Like, like again, I view everyone as adults in this game, 18, 25, sometimes older, but... And then when I, I just imagine an adult saying these things or doing these things, then it's, it's pathetic. I mean, seriously, it'd be these people just need to grow the fuck up. But, um, yeah, again, I, I really need to get myself back into the game before I really make any videos. Um, but, I mean, it's going to be a few days. I mean, it's not going to be, like, a month or so. It's going to probably be, like, Monday or Tuesday. It's a couple of days. Um, but, yeah. Again, I mean, right now I've been up in Washington right now. You know, kind of just drove up here. I'm kind of just chilling for the weekend, just appearing in Plunder whenever I get the chance. But, um. Yeah, again. It, it's hard for me to come back because I just feel so damn insulted. Um, I mean, not personally, but when people are insulting JMods, and that's that's the biggest thing I love about this game is the JMods who run it. Because, uh, like, every JMod I've ever talked to. They've had a huge passion for this game and their job. And when people insult them for the smallest things, you know, like for example, the poll, it had a bit of bug on it. And people are just insulting them. I mean, Mod Eatsy, again, I can't never say that right. Mod Eatsy and Mod Ramen. Um, there might be someone else, but I know for a fact they did. They're the reason for Iron Man. If it weren't for them, Iron Man wouldn't exist. And if also if it weren't for them, School of Fortune would have existed on Iron Man 1, or Treasure Hunter. But they fought. They worked their asses off for us to not get it. To not get these stupid things in there. Yet people are just treating them like scum. And it's pathetic. I mean, these people are, you know, again, just amazing. I mean, what they did was a miracle. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I don't know how they managed to do that. Because it wasn't like they went to go suck Modern Mark's dick. Again, Modern Mark has nothing to do with it. It's like the executives, they had to probably go through Modern Mark, Mod, um, MMG. I'm pretty sure he was just still the CEO time. And then they had to try and convince him. I mean, it wasn't really an easy feat. I highly doubt it was an easy feat. But then people just insulting them because they, pulled a po because they made a poll. Or there was a small bug on the poll. It's, it's insulting. I mean, would you insult someone who, like, I don't know how to relate it, but they, they did a miracle. Yet people are just treating them like they're the biggest scumbags in the earth for that. And I, I feel so insulted. And again, that's kind of one of the reasons why. It was, it was literally just the final straw. Like, all these people insulting JMods and everything, or Jagex, about invention. And then that came out, and the thread was just filled with that. And I was just like, I can't handle this. I really can't. And I guys, no. But uh, yeah. So I mean, I slowly working my working my way back into the game. But again, it's it's gonna take a long time for me to real feel like the community has actually matured, a tiny bit at least. Cause the way people are acting, again. Like I said in my last video, it seems like first world country brats who have never had an issue in their damn life. Like, this is like the first worst or bad thing that's ever happened to them. And again, I, I feel like everyone's an adult, either you're in school or in the real world. For those of you in the real world like me, you know it's not easy. And I just feel like these kids who are insulting these type of things are going to have a really hard time once they get to the real world. I mean, my first two years in the real, real world, that's a tongue twister right there. I ate once a day for two years. And it wasn't like a full-blown meal. It was like a packet of ramen or something. You know, that's that's a real problem right there. A new skill coming out in a fun game, a skill that's going to completely revolutionize the game. 
That's not a real problem. Starving to death is a real fucking problem. Again, if you think a new skill coming to the game is a problem, you're going to have fun once you move out of mommy's and daddy's basement. Like, again, it's not a real problem. Don't insult Jagex or JMods for it. Uh, they're making the game more fun. They're having fun with their jobs making the skill. You know, it's, it's pathetic. But, yeah. I think that's kind of everything I want to say. Again, like it always gonna make this video so much harsher. <laughs> like, but um, again, just just grow up seriously. I mean, you're you're making the community look bad. You know, when new players come into the game and they see people acting like that, you're just giving us a bad name. You really are. You know. But, yeah. Like again, I think I made all the points I want to make. You know.